Michael, uh, yeah, Michael and Jennifer, Michael has received a promotion to a new store to be a manager. That is worth giving God praise for. Amen. <laughs> but he's moving. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I got to speak the truth with love here. And uh, and we are sure enough to miss both of them when they're gone. Amen. Amen. Right? Yes. So it's but their uh, power and their excitement for Jesus is just going to keep Travel. spreading everywhere. Amen. <laughs> Amen. He's going to be a missionary <coughs> in the new store that he runs. And so this is sort of his last Sunday playing guitar, but every time they come back, we're throwing them back up here anyway. Amen. Amen. Uh, we love you guys. And this is one of the, this is one of Michael and Jennifer's favorite songs. Please stand. Let's get the energy going for Jesus. And um, Lord, let me pray. Father, we just pray that your Holy Spirit would take over. Take over, Lord, your house. And just have your way today. Lord, let love uh, just fill this place. The love of God. And we just pray, Lord, that we could all learn from your spirit today. Let us worship and learn through the songs. Let us uh, let us learn from your word. I pray in Jesus that your word will do all, all the work. And Lord, change us. And Lord, let there be such an intense, intimate love with the body, with the body of the First Baptist Church, Lord, that we just know we're family, that we know we, we got each other, we love each other, yes. and Lord, we're, 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 we're serving together and looking for your coming. Uh, until then, Lord, our feet are on the rock. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
Mr. Travis Tompkins, would you ask the Lord to be a blessing, tithes and offerings?
you would show me the sins in my life, show us the sins in our lives, that we can confess to him. The word says, I'm so grateful for the cleansing of your word. The word says that if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. set me free, didn't deserve it, no one in here deserved it. We are sinners, Lord, and we thank you that you looked beyond our fault and you saw that we needed to be saved. Saved from hell, yes, and, and every day saved from ourselves. Lord, as always, I, I uh, need you. I, I, I pray your Holy Spirit will just fill me as I share your word, covering a lot of ground, this story. I pray it would come alive to every person in this room, Holy Spirit, in a way that you want to come alive to that person. If you would change each, me, every person here, we need it, and we're asking you, Holy Spirit, um, to just deal with us, speak with us, encourage us, correct us, whatever you want to do, we surrender to the Word, 
to your will, and we want to embrace whatever you're doing with us today. It's in Jesus' name we pray, and all God's children said, Amen. 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 We started last week looking at the journey to the cross through the eyes of Peter. And we're going to continue that today. Now, you're going to need your Bible because we're going to, we're going to be in both Matthew and John this morning. And, uh, we're going to follow the story through a little bit. I want you to keep in mind what I have in this bag. That's a big, what? Can you see it? It's not a great. Who said it? A whopper? What's a whopper? Are you like a biscuit? No, it's not a It's not a rock, it's an owl. I know it's hard to see. Well, I promise you, it's an olive. It actually has like some type of cheese that they stuff inside. I don't think that's how they come. How they come, right? I never thought an olive would get such a stuff. It's good. I guess we can just stop there. No, we need to figure out why I held that up. Well, we will. We will. We're going to come to Matthew 26, verse 36 through 46. I'll be reading the King James uh, Bible. And so if you have a different translation, you'll be able to uh, just follow along uh, as we go in any case. So here we go. Let's, let's just do these first, to the first verse. Let's stand out of reverence to God. Let's get our minds, Holy Spirit, please get our minds prepared and where we're going. Our Savior is about to be very sad. Then cometh Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane. Gethsemane refers to an oil or an olive press. And saith unto the disciples, sit ye here while I go and pray yonder. Praise God for his word. Please be seated. Did Peter know Jesus was about to be pressed with grief and sadness that no human being could possibly comprehend? Probably not. In fact, definitely not. Verse 37. And he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to be sorrowful and very heavy. Then saith he unto them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. I want to slow down just a little bit here. That word exceedingly sorrowful. Remember, this is, as we say, as many say, this is Jesus, the Son of God, 100% God, 100% man. He's heading into the garden. He's, he's approximately less than 24 hours away, I, I guess it is, before um, a lot of bad stuff's going to happen to him. That's putting it lightly. And, I'm, and that's just talking in the flesh. They were going to bash his face in shortly. They were going to be ripping the skin off of his back shortly. They were going to be spitting in his face. I've never, I've never been, I've never had that happen when somebody spits in your face. I was watching PD Live and, and someone spit in an officer's face and he, he didn't handle it like Jesus did. Let me tell you that. He did not at all. All this stuff was about to happen physically to him. But I think the, 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 the exceeding sorrow, which means God, God's intensely sad, 
humankind made God intensely sad. You think we still do that today? Why? Well, it's the I in the middle of sin. 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 I've made Jesus sad. Have you? That should, that should bother us. It bothers me right now. Jesus is about to die. The weight of all sin, we try to grasp this with our finite minds, with our limited understanding, seeing these, these poor glasses that have developed a fog over them. And, I, and if I take them off, it's just a blur. I don't know if you're smiling or want, you know, or, or ready to, to you know, we have a scowl on your face, I don't know. But even when I put them on, there's like a fog. But spiritually speaking, right? Spiritually speaking, we only get to understand a part of what God's got going on, right? right. Peter, Peter was not prepared at all for what was about to happen. And Jesus is about to die. And, and I don't think we can understand very closely to what that means, that he that knew no sin became sin for us. Amen. I don't think we can understand how the Father pressed every human being sins from Adam to the last upon his very own son. I pray every day, God, protect my babies. Don't press them with sin. So the Father, in his heart, saw best to press the world's sins, every human being, all of your sin, all of my sin, upon our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's the grief. I mean, I also think, some, think, some preachers say, and they're right, that that's the heart of it. And that they're right. I mean, he's about to take on the sin of the world. But I would add, and some preachers add as well, that he's about also to get his head kicked in. If you're going into a fight, Knowing that you're not supposed to fight back when he could have called how many angels? You're going into that fight knowing that you're going to, the 100% man part is going to be abused, spit upon, beat to a pulp, ripped, mocked. Did that bother him a little bit too? I'm going to go with yes. I'm going to go with yes. The weight of all sin pressed on Jesus. Is Peter listening? Is he registering? We can listen but not register what's being said. It happens to me all the time. I'm so distracted with everything that's going on. I'll sometimes say to somebody, say it again. Say it a third time. So, so I can get it. Sometimes I don't even do that. I need to. Is Peter aware spiritually about what's to go down? What's about to happen? Or is his mind elsewhere? Is he thinking about food, let's say, or sleep? Is he spiritually discerning the intensity, the, 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 the gravity, there's the word, of what's about to happen? Verse 39. And he went a little further and fell on his face, Jesus, and praying, saying, Oh, my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will. Say, are you, are you in the pits? <laughs> yeah. There's some people you just look at and you get emotional, you know, and they're close and they care about you. It's because they care about you so much, right? They care about you so much. And, um, and so Jesus cares about us that much, right? Yeah. And Peter, oh, he really meant it. He would have died for it. That was in the flesh. And you gotta know he's just devastated that he did that. Yeah. He betrayed his Savior. R.P. 
Peter's sins worse than Jeff Henry's sins of yours. Picture this olive. Help me, Lord. It's an olive. I'm going to verify that again. It's an olive. So you picture this olive. And let's just say, obviously this isn't the case. I'm giving you a picture of something that's not correct. But just for the sake of trying in our, in our own little puny, finite minds compared to God, to get some grasp of what Jesus is about to go through. And, and imagine that all of Peter's sins, from start to finish, the oil is starting to drip off already. Imagine that uh, that's Peter's sins all, all pressed into this olive. And then, and then say all of humans, say, say all, think about the worst things you've ever done and the sins you aren't even aware that you've done. And we're pressing them into this olive. And mine are there, and yours are there, and every human that's ever lived, every human being. And Jesus was in that garden, and he was being pressed because he was about to take our sins. And Peter felt that hurt and that weight. Of what he had done. Please stand. 